So hello and welcome again. So this session we will be having a solution for this problem. So this is a problem on a cable carrying series of concentrated load. So as we can see, we note that A and D is not of the same level. So actually it has a uh, difference on a vertical level of uh, within three feet. And of course, th the dimensions are given here for the vertical slope at CD as well as the horizontal distances between uh, the points A, B, and C. So, as usual, we are going to have the free body diagram of the whole structure. So, we indicate uh, two reaction forces at the pin connections for dy and dx. And dy and dx will have a collinear result of uh, from cd so cd here or the tension at d will be collinear to cd and it is actually the resisting forces on cd so td here must be equal to the tension of, at cd similarly our, at point a we have horizontal and vertical components ax and ay that will have a result ta and ta again will be collinear with uh, AB and must be of equal magnitude on uh, TA. Okay, so we take moments at A to solve for our tension at D. So taking moments at A, we have uh, first we have 140 times the moment arm of 3. Okay, so 100 times moment arm of 7 and then uh, dy will have a counterclockwise moment with the corresponding distance that is 10 feet from a uh, we note that dy is uh, 4 fifth of td okay, based from the slope so let us indicate the slope here so the slope is actually having a four vertical three horizontal and the inclined itself is five so by that we dy is re referring to vertical so we refer to the vertical slope divided by the hypotenuse five so four fifth of the tension at td or that is the vertical component okay and then we add here the dx. So dx is over and above a, the level of A. So if we are going to pin this down, we apply dx. It will have a clockwise rotation. So multiply it by the moment arm that is 3. And then for the slope, the horizontal slope is actually 3 all over 5. times the moment arm of 3 then we will come up with the value of td equivalent to 180.65 so as mentioned this uh, calculated td here is actually the tension at cd because this is the opposing tensile to cd when we go on the joint d okay it is understood that this is the resisting force to that of the cable CD. Okay, so uh, we have already obtained the value of CD, so we indicate the value equivalent to 180.65 here, so that we are going to have now the joint C. So we note that the computed value for CD is 180.65 and it has a slope of 3, 4, 5 slope. And for BC is yet to be computed. We indicate also a reference angle, say, let us name it as theta. So just the same, we are going to perform the joint method wherein we are uh, to write the equilibrium equation along x and y so starting with x 
we have a right towards 180.65 times the horizontal slope 3 all over 5. So we're going to deduct the leftward TBC here and that is actually adjacent to the reference angle theta. Then we'll be having an equation arranged in this. Uh, so the arrangement is this one, uh, TBC cosine. We, we placed the constant on the other side so that our equation one is uh, like this TBC cosine theta is equal to 108.39. Okay. So we perform equilibrium equation along the vertical axis. First, we have a downwards component for BC and that is actually opposite the reference angle theta. So we write negative TBC sine theta and then we deduct the, down, the downwards 100 okay plus an upwards 180.65 and the vertical component is the vertical slope 4 all over 5 is equal to 0 so again we arrange the terms wherein the constant is placed on the right hand side of the equation and then from that we are going to divide equation 2 by equation 1 knowing that the identity sine all over cosine is actually tangent so we can cancel right away the value of tbc and then we divide the constants from this equation 44.52 and 108.39 so we have tangent theta is equal to 0 0.41 as the quotient of these uh, values so we, we come up with the theta is equal to 22.33 degrees. So if we know this one, we can now obtain or acquire the value of TBC. Just substitute it in either equations. So in this case, I am utilizing equation 1. TBC cosine theta is equal to 108.39. So when substituting, we have a value equivalent to 117.18 pounds so we we have obtained theta and tbc remember that theta here is the angle of tbc referred from the horizontal line okay so we place it in here 22.33 degrees okay and then we note that tbc is 117.18 pounds okay so again, we proceed to joint B. At joint B, we will be having also TBC. Okay. And uh, we place the angle, 22.33 degrees. Okay. So as well as the value computed a while ago, we have, we have 117.18 pounds. We reflect all the forces as well as TAB, unknown TAB, and then we do not know the angle of inclination of that tension so just the same we perform a uh, non-concurrent forces for joint b uh, first we have summation forces along x so along x we have a leftwards tab and that is uh, adjacent to the reference angle beta so for tbc that is a uh, rightwards force and again, it is adjacent to the reference angle 22.33 degrees. We close the equation by equating it to zero. And then uh, arrange the terms in a way that your constant is again on the right hand side. The so summation forces along y is equal to zero. We have an upwards TAB that is opposite the angle beta. We less the weight here downwards and then plus and upwards 117.18 sine of 22.33 okay that is uh, actually opposite that is why we are using sine and we enclose it by zero so we combine this constant here and then transfer it to or transpose it to the right 
side of the equation. So similarly, we are going to uh, divide equation 2 by that of equation 1. The AB will just be cancelled and this identity is uh, tangent beta. And then the quotient as well is 0 0.8808. So, getting the arc tangent of this one, we have 41.38 degrees. And then from equation 1, we substitute the value to get the value of the force at AB or the tensile at AB. That is equivalent to 144.45 uh, pounds. So, I think we have already obtained all of the tensile here for CD, BC, and AB. Okay? So that's it for this problem. We try another one. Okay, so let us have this uh, another problem here. So the supports, the end supports of this cable is uh, actually on the same level. So it is much easier to deal with this one because we'll just have to Take moments at both supports and see what can we can get. Okay, so just the same, we are going to have the free body diagram of the whole structure and indicate the end supports, re internal reactions, say AX, AY for A, DX and DY for D, and the results will be collinear or the resisting forces for tension at AB as well as tension for D. So we take moments at A, we can solve for DY. So moments at A, we have 50 times 1.5 plus 120 times the moment arm 3.5. Okay. Both are clockwise moment and then your DY here will have a counterclockwise rotation that is negative times the moment arm that is 6.5 times dy. So we will compute dy to be equal to 76.15 kN. So for summation moments at d, we have negative 120 times 3 minus another counterclockwise 50 times moment arm of 5 plus ay times 6.5 moment arm is equal to 0. So we will get ay 93.85 as we can see we'll just uh, we have just obtained some of the components of d and a so both are vertical components so anyway we note that the summation forces x is equal to zero we'll just have to uh, conclude that ax is equal to dx Okay, so don't don't worry uh, with this uh, uh, acquired values of the unknown because we'll just have to complete our solution by uh, its slope. So remember that uh, these forces are are uh, associated by its slope, like for uh, AB. So AB has a uh, vertical slope of 2, a horizontal slope of 1.5, uh, then we can com compute for the uh, hypotenuse of that slope. And by the slope, you can uh, already obtain the tension itself as well as the AX or the horizontal slope for A. We will just have to uh, utilize the ratio and proportion or by similar triangles. So we can see that 2 is to AY which was computed to be 93.85 kN shall be equated to 2.5 okay. So what is 2.5? The force itself or the, the slope the diagonal slope 2.5 is to the value of TA okay that is equal to 1.5 is to AX. 1.5 is the horizontal slope. So, as you can see now, we'll be computing TA equivalent to 117.31 kN. 
Ax is also obtained out of this ratio and proportion equivalent to 70.39 kN. So, we also apply this equation in order to relate it to, to the dx, wherein dx is actually equal to ax by this equation. So, that is 70.39. So, that we can simplify our equation through uh, the Pythagorean theorem or just get the resultant of the tension at D because we have already obtained dy 76.15 and uh, dx which is actually equal to ax that is 70.39 we just substitute the values and then obtain for the tcd so uh, this td was obtained through your components as well as your tension at E. Okay. So next, we will just place our uh, variables that was solved here, T, A, and T, C, D. Because if you are going to have the joint B, it is needed. Okay. So on joint B, at joint B, we have this TAB, okay, computed to be 170.31. Then we place or reflect the slope here, 2 vertical, 1.5 horizontal, and 2.5 hypotenuse slope. And uh, we also indicate here TBC, uh, denote its angle with respect to the horizontal, that is, say, we name it as theta. Again, we perform uh, equilibrium equation along x is equal to 0. So we have a leftward here, 117.31 times its factor using the slope 1.5 all over 2.5. So horizontal, horizontal slope is used here. And then plus rightwards, TBC. And TB is the component of horizontal is actually adjacent to the reference angle. So we'll be using cosine theta. And then we simplify the equation, placing the constant at the right side. So we have TBC cosine theta is equal to 70.39. So let this be our first equation. We obtain another equation from your joint method. This time along y, we have 117.31. So this is a vertical one and uh, an upwards. So we use here the vertical slope equivalent to 2 divided by 2.5. And then we less the downwards 50. We less the downwards TBC. And the component of TBC vertical is uh, opposite the reference angle. So we use sine. So, simplifying the equation, we have TBC sine theta is equal to 43.85. So, again, we divide 2 divided by equation 1. Uh, we note that sine over cosine is equal to tangent theta. And then out of that identity, we can compute for angle 31.92 degrees okay so we now substitute the angle theta so we obtain tbc to be equal to 82.93 kilonewton okay so remember that your theta here is the angle of tbc with respect to the horizontal line so that if you are going to proceed to tbc here so we place the reference angle of TBC BC, and then write the joint C through X and Y axis. We reflect the forces. We have obtained BC to be 82.93 with a reference angle of 31.92 degrees. And then TCD is already uh, obtained a while ago, 103.7. So, we are getting now the angle theta, okay? So, we can get that by summation forces x is equal to 0. We can obtain the value of angle 
Okay. So we have 82.93 cosine 31.92. This is equal to 103.7 cosine theta. So we obtain the angle. So we can actually check that one by this summation forces y is equal to 0. So we have an upwards 82.93 sine of 31.92 plus substitute this TCD and that is uh, actually opposite your angle and then write the value of that alpha angle here. Then we did that 120. So it will yield to zero. So therefore, we have a, a balanced equation. We have satisfied the equation. Therefore, our angle is correct. So solving for y, we'll just have to get the triangle or consider this triangle where in y is actually opposite your angle alpha. And then we utilize the 3 here, okay? The value of 3 is adjusted. So we can use tangent function. So by tangent function, we can say that tangent alpha is equal to opposite y all over adjacent 3 here. So by cross multiplication, we have 3 tangent 47.25 and that will be equal to y is equal to 3.25. Okay, so I think we are done here. We have obtained all the unknowns here. So please stand by for another uh, problem. So thank you for listening and good day.